My name's Andrew. I'm a Partner Solutions Architect at AWS. In this video, I'll explain how the CIS AWS Foundations Benchmark Quick Start can help you address your security and compliance considerations. If you're new to AWS, the Quick Start can help you quickly build foundational security into your account. It also gives you the ability to continuously monitor critical resources. For those with more experience, you can leverage it to establish a governance baseline of security controls that can be easily customized. First, some background. The CIS AWS Foundations Benchmark provides prescriptive guidance about security configuration on AWS and was created by the Center for Internet Security. We built the Quick Start with Accenture, an APN Premier Consulting Partner. It's a reference deployment that automatically establishes detective controls that align with the benchmark into your AWS account in just 10 minutes. Before making changes to your account, this video will show you what happens when the Quick Start is implemented. It also gives you a step-by-step -step deployment guide with best practice insights. To skip ahead to that guide, go to the time listed on the screen now. The Quick Start is a set of AWS CloudFormation templates that utilize Amazon CloudWatch, AWS CloudTrail, AWS Config, AWS Lambda, IAM, Amazon S3, and Amazon SNS. Detailed information about how these services implement programmatic CIS controls are in the controls matrix we created. You can download the controls matrix as a spreadsheet on the Quick Start page. In this column, the CIS controls in numerical order, followed by a description of the AWS services which are implemented to enforce this control. Here, there are links to additional AWS guidance, like documentation, white papers, and other general recommendations. The last column is a breakdown of control enforcement based on the shared responsibility model. Controls that can't be checked programmatically, such as ensuring contact details are kept up to date, are your responsibility. While other controls, like ensuring that access keys over 90 days old are disabled, are a shared responsibility, the Quick Start establishes a config rule to detect old access keys, but it's up to you to disable them. That monitoring ability is a big benefit of the Quick Start. Config rules allow you to continuously monitor 18 controls and can alert you every time a change occurs. Let's take a deeper dive into three important controls and the rules that enforce them. Control 2.1, ensure CloudTrail is enabled in all regions. This is really helpful during security and compliance reviews because CloudTrail keeps a record of AWS service API calls made within your account, including information such as who made the call, at what time, from which IP, and whether or not the call was successful. The good news is CloudTrail is enabled for you out of the box, but the quick start ensures that if CloudTrail is ever disabled, you will be notified. The next control is 3.10, which says ensure a log metric filter and alarm exist for security group changes. That basically means alert me when a configuration change is made to a firewall inside my AWS account. A security group is a stateful firewall which can wrap around EC2 instances to give you granular control over network access. Again, if any changes are made to them, regardless of what those changes are, the Quick Start will notify you because those changes will be passed to CloudWatch events. It will then send a notification summarizing the security group and the changes made to it. Finally, Control 1.2 says, ensure multi-factor authentication is enabled for all IAM users that have a password. Multi-factor authentication, or MFA, is a great way of providing an additional level of security to any IAM account that uses a password to log on. AWS supports multiple hardware and virtual MFA tokens. A config rule checks all the IAM accounts that have passwords to ensure that they have MFA enabled. If an IAM account is created without MFA or an existing account has MFA disabled, you'll get a notification. Now we're ready to launch the Quick Start. Go to the Quick Start website and scroll to the deploy links. If you want to deploy this into AWS GovCloud, 
click on the GovCloud link. By default, the Quick Start will deploy into the US East Ohio region. If you want to change the region, select a different one from the drop-down at the top right of the console. In the Specified Details section, you can make some changes to how the Quick Start will be deployed and what services it will configure. The first option is the Profile Level. The default option is Level 2, and we recommend using this setting to implement stricter controls. Next, provide a notification address that will receive alarm notifications. We recommend you send this to an email account that is monitored 24-7, preferably by a SIEM or other security logging and alerting solution. An email confirmation will be sent to the address and it must be acknowledged before any future notifications are received. You'll probably receive a lot of notifications to begin with when you first deploy the quick start. Don't worry though, once you implement the CIS recommendations, the volume of these will drop. Now, we move into CloudTrail and Config options. You can keep your existing configurations for these two services by selecting No, but your existing configurations must follow CIS control recommendations or the Quick Start will fail to deploy. If you don't have these services enabled, you will need to select Yes to enable them which will enforce certain CIS controls, such as ensuring log file validation is enabled for CloudTrail, and that the S3 bucket used to store the CloudTrail logs is not publicly accessible. The following options are for those who have customized the Quick Start. If you're deploying the AWS provided version, keep the defaults and continue. But these options are useful if you want to customize the Quick Start to meet your own requirements. If you do modify, you should save the assets in your own S3 bucket. You can then point the quick start to use these modified assets, taking advantage of AWS CloudFormation to deploy the quick start. Click Next to go to the Options page. Here, we can specify any tags or key value pairs we want to use to help us identify the resources that the quick start creates for us. You can leave defaults for the rest of the page and then press Next. The final page before we start deploying this is a review page. This shows all the configuration options for the quick start. We recommend double checking that the configuration is what you want it to be, as you can always go back here and make changes. Now acknowledge that the quick start is going to create IAM resources, which is needed for the custom AWS config rules to function correctly, and then click create. Doing so deploys all the components of the Quick Start into your AWS account in the region specified. You'll see this screen whilst the Quick Start is deploying. Typically, the process takes around 10 minutes. And here's what it will look like when it's fully deployed. And that's it. You've just established baseline security in your account and now have the ability to continuously monitor critical resources.